Should you polish your travertine? Completely up to you. We're very big on let the room speak for itself. What is the objective? How is it going to be decorated? Where is it in? Is it indoor? Is it outdoor? Is it near the entryway? Is it a, is it a mudroom area? Is it a commonly used entrance? Is it the foyer? Is it your living room? There's all these different variations as to should you go matte or should you go high polished? Now, you do have a lot of people that I've come across over the years that are just firm believers that when it comes to limestone, or and travertine that it should not be polished they believe that it should stay true to the actual matte finish as it was in nature maybe a little bit of polish but for the most part we do have a lot of clients that want to keep it matte then we have our clients that want it super polished so to both I have to say that you can have it either way you want you just got to know what the pro and the con is to each and how it's gonna benefit your home so in this example or in this basement that we're working on right now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you what a matte finish kind of looks like and by no means this is a polished it's just the angle that we're in so the angle is helping me illustrate what a matte to a satin finish travertine would look like and then if I was to spin around and show you the grand space you can see that this entire floor is high polished. So now if you were to add a space approximately this size, I think right here we're probably right around 3,000 square feet total, you can see how the polish actually complements the entire floor. It brings life, it brings openness, it brings gorgeous, gorgeous reflectivity to the floor. As you come back here to the rear door, you can see all that beautiful light coming in. Now today is not a sunny day. Um, it's kind of semi-sunny, but you can see how the light would come in and just reflect and just make this space look so much grand. So if you happen to have a basement that is of this size, you really have the option. Do you want to do a high polish? Do you want to have a matte finish? What kind of finish do you want in your home? And whichever way you go with, you are correct with a space this large so earlier in another video i mentioned how if you were to do a high polished on a travertine floor in a smaller area you're going to see the inconsistencies a lot better and the reason why you're going to see the inconsistency much more is because you're in a smaller space but when you are in a space this size you can polish it all you want and you're not going to see the inconsistencies unless you're looking for them. Once you start looking for them, yes, absolutely, you're going to be able to see where it's not equal. But again, for a place this size, doesn't matter. What would you like? So with that said, hopefully this helps you um, make a decision, things to keep into consideration. Trust me, there's a lot more to keep into consideration when deciding what kind of a finish you want, but this is just a quick overview of kind of like, you know, the, the grander thing to think of immediately off the bat. Okay, so hopefully this video was helpful, informational. If you found it helpful, please like, subscribe, give us a call if you need any assistance, or if you'd like us to be a part of your project, we're than happy to do so. Give us a call. Till next time.